Have you ever wondered where civilization as we know it began? As our curiosity takes us on this historical journey, let's embark on a voyage back in time. Picture a vast landscape, a terrain that would become the canvas for the first strokes of human civilization. Welcome to ancient Mesopotamia, the birthplace of some of the earliest known civilizations. This region, nestled in the heart of the Middle East, envelops the present-day territories of Iraq, Syria and Kuwait. But the name Mesopotamia tells a richer, more defining story. Derived from ancient Greek, it translates to land between rivers, a fitting description for this cradle of civilization, flanked by two significant rivers, the Tigris and the Euphrates. These rivers, like nurturing mothers, fed life into the region. The fertile lands between these rivers bestowed a bounty of rich soil, a gift from nature that the early settlers didn't take for granted. They cultivated these lands, sowing the first seeds of what would soon become bustling settlements, but the rivers offered more than just fertile lands. They were the veins of Mesopotamia, providing a conduit for trade, a means of transportation, and a source of sustenance. The rivers were the lifeblood of this civilization, their ebbs and flows dictating the rhythm of life. As the sun rose and set, these early settlers learned to tame the land and the rivers. They built canals for irrigation, transforming the wild marshes into agricultural gold mines. The abundance of food led to population growth, and soon the first cities began to form, marking a significant leap in the history of mankind. The early Mesopotamians were not just farmers, but pioneers. They laid the foundation for many aspects of modern life that we often take for granted, writing, law, trade, and urban living. The echoes of their ingenuity still resonate in our world today. Such is the cradle of civilization, a land between two rivers, where the seeds of our modern world were sown. A place where humanity first learned to harness the power of nature and community, where the dawn of civilization broke over the horizon, casting its first light on the path that led us to who we are today. Imagine a world where cities are a novelty, and the concept of urban life is just taking root. Welcome to the age of the first urbanites, the Sumerians, who etched their names into the annals of history by establishing the world's first urban centers. In the fertile region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, the Sumerians developed the concept of city-states, each one a unique entity with its own ruler and deity. These city-states were not just clusters of people, but organized communities with a complex social structure, bustling marketplaces, and intricate irrigation systems. The Sumerians were not only architects of cities, but also of monumental structures. They built towering ziggurats, large step platforms topped with temples, which pierced the Mesopotamian skyline. Each ziggurat was a testament to the Sumerians' architectural prowess and their deep-rooted religious beliefs. But perhaps their most enduring contribution was in the realm of communication. The Sumerians developed cuneiform, the world's first known form of writing. Cuneiform translates to wedge-shaped, aptly named for the wedge-like marks made by the reeds used for writing. The Sumerians initially used it for record-keeping, but it soon evolved into a full-fledged writing system, capable of expressing complex thoughts and stories. This marked a pivotal moment in human history, as it allowed us to record and pass down knowledge, forever changing the way we communicate and remember. The Sumerians were the first to experience urban life, to build towering ziggurats, and to express their thoughts through the written word. They set the stage for the civilizations that followed, shaping the course of human history in profound ways. Thus, the Sumerians not only gave us the first cities, but also the first written words. What if I told you that the first empire in history was born in Mesopotamia? What if I told you about a world where one man's ambition, drive and strategic acumen led to the formation of the first empire known to humankind? This is the story of the Akkadian Empire under the rule of Sargon of Akkad. Born into a world of city-states, Sargon's vision was far grander. He dreamt of an empire, and not just any empire, but one that would stretch across the entire expanse of Mesopotamia, uniting the disparate city-states under one banner. This was a feat that had never been accomplished before. But Sargon was not just a dreamer. He was a man of action. With a keen understanding of military strategy, he began to expand his rule. One by one, the city-states fell, 
not simply to the might of his armies, but to the allure of a united Mesopotamia. This was the first instance of imperial rule. For the first time, we see a ruler who doesn't just control a city or a region, but an entire civilization. This was a radical shift in the political landscape of the time. Sargon's rule marked a new era, an era of empires. Under Sargon, the Akkadian Empire flourished. Trade routes were established, laws were standardized, and a common language was promoted. Sargon's reign was not just about conquest, but about integration. He understood that an empire was more than just its land and its people. It was an idea, an idea of unity, of shared culture and of shared destiny. But building an empire is one thing, maintaining it is another. Sargon's successors faced rebellions, invasions and internal conflicts. Yet the idea of the empire, the idea that Sargon had instilled, lived on. It survived, it thrived. The Akkadians, a testament to the indomitable spirit of ambition and conquest. A testament to the power of an idea, an idea that would shape the course of history, setting the stage for empires to come. An idea born in the heart of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization. Ever heard of Hammurabi's Code or the Hanging Gardens of Babylon? If you haven't, then allow me to take you on a journey back in time to the rise of the Babylonian civilization. A society that was as remarkable as it was influential. The Babylonians were trailblazers in many ways. But one of their most enduring contributions was Hammurabi's Code. This was one of the earliest known legal codes, and it played a pivotal role in shaping the Babylonian society. Hammurabi, the sixth king of the first Babylonian dynasty, was a wise and just ruler who understood the importance of law and order. His comprehensive set of laws, inscribed on a towering stone stele, covered a wide range of civil and criminal matters. From property rights to trade regulations, from marital disputes to punishments for theft, Hammurabi's code was a testament to the Babylonians' commitment to justice and societal harmony. But the Babylonians were not just about law and order. They also had a love for beauty and grandeur, as evidenced by the legendary Hanging Gardens of Babylon. This architectural marvel, allegedly built by King Nebuchadnezzar II for his homesick wife, was said to be a lush paradise that stood tall amidst the arid Babylonian landscape, the Hanging Gardens were a sight to behold, a green oasis that cascaded down in terraces, brimming with exotic plants and trees. It was a testament to the Babylonians' prowess in engineering and their appreciation for nature, earning it a spot as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In the heart of the ancient Near East, the Babylonians crafted a society that was both orderly and magnificent. They understood the importance of law, yet they also valued beauty and grandeur. They were a civilization of contrasts, where the rigidity of Hammurabi's code coexisted with the ethereal beauty of the Hanging Gardens. The Babylonians, a civilization of law, legend, and law. They embodied the spirit of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, and their legacy continues to inspire us today. What if the fiercest warriors of their time were also the most ardent scholars? This might sound like a paradox, but it was a reality in the ancient Assyrian civilization. The Assyrians, hailing from the heart of Mesopotamia, were renowned for their military prowess. Yet, they were not just warriors. They were also scholars, contributing significantly to the realm of knowledge and learning. The Assyrians were a force to be reckoned with, their armies known for their rigorous discipline, innovative strategies, and advanced weaponry. They were the first to use iron in their weapons, giving them a significant advantage over their adversaries. But the Assyrians understood that strength was not just physical, it also lay in the power of the mind. This realization led the Assyrians to value knowledge and learning greatly, seeing it as a tool to further enhance their civilization. They understood the importance of preserving knowledge for future generations, leading to the creation of one of the world's first libraries in Nineveh. The Library of Nineveh was a testament to the Assyrians' commitment to learning. It housed a vast collection of clay tablets, inscribed with cuneiform script, covering a wide array of subjects from literature and science to law and history. These tablets provide us today with a wealth of information about the ancient world, a testament to the Assyrians' foresight in preserving their knowledge. The Assyrian civilization was a fascinating blend of strength and intellect, 
where warriors were also scholars. Their contributions to knowledge and learning are as significant as their military achievements, showing us that a society's strength lies not just in its physical might, but also in its intellectual prowess. The Assyrians' dual identity as warriors and scholars challenges our preconceived notions about ancient civilizations, reminding us that a society can be both fierce and enlightened, that the sword and the pen can hold equal might. The Assyrians, a civilization where the sword and the pen held equal might. All great stories come to an end, and so did the tale of ancient Mesopotamia. As the sun set on the Mesopotamian civilizations, a new power rose in the east, the Persians. In their quest for expansion, the Persians swept across the region, absorbing the cultures and peoples under their rule. The once thriving and vibrant cities of Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, were dissolved into the annals of the Persian Empire. Yet, the fall of Mesopotamia did not signify the end of its influence. On the contrary, it marked the beginning of a legacy that would shape the course of human history. The Persians, and subsequently the Greeks and Romans, were not just conquerors. They were also the inheritors and transmitters of the Mesopotamian civilization's monumental achievements. The imprint of Mesopotamia can be seen in the most fundamental aspects of our lives. The concept of writing, that cornerstone of human communication traces its roots back to the cuneiform script of the Sumerians. Our laws and legal systems owe a debt to the Hammurabi's code, the first written legal code. Even the idea of the city with its urban planning and infrastructure was first realized on the fertile plains of Mesopotamia. In the realm of agriculture, the ingenious irrigation systems developed by the Mesopotamians transformed arid lands into fertile fields and laid the foundation for modern farming methods. Not to mention their contributions to mathematics, astronomy and literature, which continue to inspire and inform our understanding of the world. These achievements, born out of the human spirit's relentless quest for knowledge and progress, were not buried in the sands of time. Instead, they were passed down, assimilated and built upon by successive civilizations becoming an integral part of our shared human heritage. As we look back at the lost world of Mesopotamia, we are reminded of the enduring spirit of humanity. The rise and fall of civilizations, the ebb and flow of power, are but chapters in the grand narrative of human history. Ancient Mesopotamia, a testament to humanity's enduring spirit, continues to echo through the ages. From the fertile lands of the Tigris and Euphrates, a world was born. A world of sprawling city-states, intricate societal structures, and groundbreaking innovations that have shaped our modern existence. This world, known as ancient Mesopotamia, is rightfully christened as the cradle of civilization. As we have journeyed through the timeline of this ancient world, we've seen the dawn of civilization emerge from the fertile crescent, where the first urbanites laid the foundations of city life. Their settlements were more than mere collections of dwellings, they were complex, urban centers, bustling with trade, teeming with artisans, and alive with the hum of human activity. We've observed the rise of the first empire in history. The Akkadian Empire, under the rule of Sargon, demonstrated the power of a centralized authority and the merits of a unified state. This empire set the stage for future empires to come, establishing a blueprint for governance and administration that echoes through the corridors of time. We've examined the law and the legend of Mesopotamia. Hammurabi's code, etched in stone, served as the cornerstone of justice, while the epic of Gilgamesh spun tales of heroism and the human condition that still captivate us today. We've met warriors and scholars who not only defended their lands, but also expanded the horizons of knowledge. The cuneiform script, one of the earliest forms of writing, was a testament to the intellectual prowess of this civilization. Finally, we've delved into the fall and legacy of Mesopotamia. Despite its decline, Mesopotamia's influence permeates our modern world, from our systems of law and governance to our written language and urban living. In essence, ancient Mesopotamia, the cradle of civilization, has left an indelible imprint on the tapestry of human history, a testament to our relentless pursuit of progress and understanding. Thank you very much for watching our documentaries. Subscribe to learn more about different times in history every single day and become the most interesting person in the room.
Thank you.